In this video, we're going to find out if we can charge an e-bike with the sun using a solar panel. So we're waiting for the sun to come around behind that tree right now, so I'm in the shade. But here's what we're working with. I've got my bird bike. Now, the bird bike has a 36 volt, 12.8 amp hour battery, and it's currently at 45%. So we wanna see if we can get it up to 100% using this five foot solar panel, this EcoFlow Delta uh, portable battery backup system and the regular charger. So I'm gonna use the charger with the inverter port. You can see this one does have AC outlet. So it's not the most efficient thing, but I think it's probably safer than trying to rig some kind of DC system up. You know, the one thing that other people on the internet can say you can do is you can build an adapter for the solar panel that creates the right amount of energy and just plug the solar panel directly into the bike. And these are the technical specifications of the EcoFlow Delta. I'll also put a link in the description. Solar panel is five feet wide and it has a big long cord on it, a 14 foot cord. So if you wanted to put the solar panel out in the sun and then put your bike and everything else in the shade, there's usually enough to do that. Or even put the solar panel out in the sun and put your bike in the garage with it going into the garage so nobody can steal it. That's a possibility. And the carrying case operates as a stand. It's a pretty clever design. If you want one of these, there's a link in the description. I've also done a full review on the EcoFlow system. I recommend buying it refurbished because you can save like half the price and it still works fine. You want it to be directly facing the sun so the sun is shining at exactly 90 degree angle to the solar panel to get maximum power out of it. So you'll have to move it throughout the day to get maximum power. And this is being done in November in Southern California with mostly clear skies. So Summer, you're gonna get more power out of it, but this is probably a good test as a lot of you probably live in, in more northern places where you don't get that much sun. So this maybe simulates that. So here's the setup. Solar panel is plugged in on the back. The inverter is plugged into the bird bike charger. I'm gonna put the bird bike charger on its own on metal so it's ventilated so it doesn't get too hot. Sometimes these chargers get hot. And then on the bike, it's just plugged in like you would normally charge it. Of course, you could also remove the battery and charge it outside of the bike too, if you wanted to do that with your bike. And start time is 9.47. So sorry, it's kind of hard to read, but that's, it's 58 coming off the solar panel and then it's 86 going out and my battery is still at 99%. So now that the sun is big and bright, it's almost free energy. And I think as it gets closer to the top of the sky and the clouds blow away, we're gonna have free power from the sun. We'll find out in a few hours. But what if you have a bigger bike? This is a 48 volt one. This is a 52 volt one. So we're going to look at the power draw for these bikes as well. So you know what to expect. So I'm going to plug in the 48 volt one. So you can see the 48 volt one is drawing more than 100 watts. Close to 120 for the 48 volt e-bike. So not a whole lot more than the bird bike. These are slow chargers. They're not fast chargers. And then the big daddy 52 volt. 52 volt charger, you can see that puts a little more of a load. That's at 158 watts output. So after two and a half hours, you can see there's some little clouds in the sky, little hazy sunshine. So not the optimum day, but I've repositioned the solar panel a little bit to aim it directly at the sun again. And if we go down here, so it's pulling 58 watts from the sun and it's putting out 93 watts to the bike, down 10% after two and a half hours. And the bird bike is at 87%, so it's almost done. There we go, we're at 100%, and that is four hours later. So we'll call that four hours. It's a little bit more than four hours by a few minutes. And the battery started at 100%, and it ends at 87%. So now I'm gonna turn off the inverter and then let it charge, and we're gonna see if we can get back to 100%. So now here we go, all input, no output, bringing in 66, 67 watts. So see just how much it can crank up during the day and hopefully this will prove that you can charge your bike within the span of a day for free and get your battery back up to 100 percent before the sun goes down jumping spider now the ecoflow delta comes with a cord that you can use to charge it up from the wall socket it also has one that you can use to charge it up from your car so if you're bugging out you can plug it into your car while you're driving to charge it back up it also has an accessory port out as well. So if you wanna fashion some kind of uh, DC charger, instead of using the power inverter, you can use this cigarette lighter port to send DC out. Also has a bunch of USBs and USB-Cs as well. 
So after an hour of charging, I'm getting 48 watts in and it's at 90% up from 87%. So it's done 3% in an hour. Um, sun's starting to go down. So I'm gonna put it out in the driveway and finish it off in the front yard because it's about to be shady back here. Now we're getting about 58, 59 watts in the front yard. I think maybe the, the concrete, reflection from the concrete is helping out a little bit. All right, the gloom came in from the beach before five o'clock even, so I don't think the sun's gonna give me back my power. But you can see in the gloom, I'm getting 005, so barely any power. It's at 92%, so basically took 8% of this battery to charge my e-bike. I think on a sunny day in the summer, it would have charged it without going down at all. But this is actually a good test because with these solar panels, you really have to get them in the right position and have perfect sun, no clouds, no gloom, and then they work great. But if you have kind of a gloomy day or a cloudy day like we did today, you can still do it, but you're gonna lose a little power. And then if I throw it out for a couple hours tomorrow in direct sun, it should get back up to 100.